Oh, you gotta be quicker than that. Let's wire up an extension cord reel. Welcome back. We're gonna do another one. Today, right now, we're gonna wire up an extension cord reel on your ECR3-100. See what I did? I just got all technical right there. <laughs> all right, so if you're watching in the previous videos, what I was showing, telling you about is you take your, you take your stock extension cord, 100 foot, 100 foot, 12, three, 12, three, 100 foot. This just happens to be, this just happens to be, you can't see it, but that's the www.alumareel.net extension cord, 12, three. Look, oh, got my number on it. You too can be special, have your own stuff. I don't know, it's, it's all right. It's a, it's a cord, it ain't my favorite cord, but it's a cord. Okay, anyway, so what I've done here, let's get down to business. So what I've done here is I have just cut off the pigtail that's coming off of this side right here, right? That's what this is, all right? I'm gonna set this to the side because here in a few minutes, We'll come back to that, but right now we're gonna wire up the shaft side. Okay, so here is the end that's gonna go in here. Do you know how hard this is to do looking at the camera? It's gonna go in here like that. You're gonna have electricity tie. Now let me grab the let me grab the the bag that came with that reel. And this is going to take a few minutes, but all the parts from the inside and her little weather cover. So I'm going to set my parts down and I'm going to come over here. So remember what I told you, take this off first, grab these parts, keep them in order. It's important, right? We're gonna feed them onto the line. Just let them fall. Slip it on. Rubber grommet. Slipping it on. Boom. And last but not least, you know how many times I have forgot to put this piece on? Slip it on. Give yourself plenty of room. Now, what I like to do is come back about six to eight inches, probably We'll say, we'll say, we'll say six inch, four inches, five inches. All right. Now this is my electrician friends out there. Do not give me any crap about this. I'm an expert. I stay at Holiday Inn Express when I'm on the road. So I got this very gently use a knife. If you're going to use a knife, I don't need to tell you that you grown, you grown folks, even, even Nyla agrees. Anyways, just don't cut into your insulation on your internal wires. Get rid of all the crap. Basically, I'm just trimming back all this junk, throwing it away. Now, on the inside. Remember I told you in the last one, there's standard colors on all this stuff. White, green, black. Well, this specific cord, this specific cord, this happens to be green, if that's what you want to call it. They're calling this one white <laughs> and black. Go figure. All right, trim you back on the green one. Trim you back yourself a little bit longer. This happens to be a 12-3. So I'm gonna, on the regular white and black, you only need 3 eighths of an inch half inch at best. Okay, now I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab about a half inch here and again, I'm a trained professional. This is a closed course and 
Just because I do this crazy stuff at home doesn't mean you should do it too. I'm sure we all know where that come from. Okay, again, give me a little, nope, the green one will go a little bit longer. Ouch! Damn. And then the white. Boom! Okay, now I'm gonna grab, excuse me, allergies are kicking my butt, so I apologize if I'm snorting in your ear. I do apologize. I do not mean to do that. However, I keep doing it. So there's really no excuse. All right. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to hit that green one up. I'm going to get that green one taken care of. That's going to be our big one. So separate them out. It can be a little bit cantankerous, but we're all grown adults here. I'm sure we can make it work. Put the three together. I, it really is harder than it looks. I kid you not. It's challenging. Okay. Wired in. All right. Pretty good? Yeah? Okay. Let's move on to the next. Uh, black to black. All right, nice and neat, pretty. Ah, uh, ooh. Uh, gray or whatever the heck they're calling this, white to white. White to white's what it is. Don't let my sarcasm get y'all wrapped around the axle here. Boom. All right, now let's take our stuff and move it all up the line. Moving the line, moving the line. All right, now this is where you have to play with a little bit just to kind of pre-finagle things. I like to just kind of grab stuff and push it in or actually depending on, because here's the secret. You want the end of your jacket, once it's all said and done to be compressed right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Push your rubber stopper in, pull your cord back. Take it to right to the edge, because when I start to tighten this up, this is going to start to come out a little more, because I'm going to squish it in. So, go ahead and give her a nice little tightening. Now, this actually, with the way this goes, I just kind of line this up. And this is actually going to sit back in here like this. Mm, maybe not. Maybe it's gonna go this way. And maybe here, maybe there's a little tree that likes to be right there. And maybe, maybe this little mountain has a friend. Boom. Now, I'm gonna push all this in. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's kinda of poke it all in there. All right. That's what it's gonna look like now. Let me grab the two. Um, so what they use on these screws is square head. So you do have to kind of, unfortunately, uh, hopefully you have a square head bit. They do that for safety and security reasons. See, square head. All right, so. Again, I'm going to show you how I do this because it works best. I've done this for a long time. This is what works best for me. Grab an extension and I'm going to line these back up or rotate this to where everything just kind of falls in. Line the holes up, get my first one started. Just snug it, just snug it. That's all you got to do. Okay, rinse and repeat. Rinse and refeed on all these. Oh, 
Okay, there's that. Now grab your impact or your hand, your uh, screwdriver. And we're just gonna snug them down. Did you see that? Okay. All right, a lot of questions come. A lot of questions are fixed to get answered right here. People are like, well, how do you, what's the easiest way to spool this up on any, on any of our reels? On any of our reels, this is what I like to do. Take this, bring it to the end, open your reel up, make your first loop at the end, and then cross over, right? Some guys will take and tape it or zip tie it or what have you, but this thing will start to form to itself, right? That's how you roll it, okay? You get the idea. Obviously what you're gonna wanna do is take this big mess right here, shoot it out the front of your shop, straighten it out, uncoil it, take all the loops out of it. Let her lay nice and neat and then start spooling in and she'll come up on here and she won't all pigtail up on there. Okay, so that, my friends, that's how you do up an extension. Oh, that's how you do the shaft on the extension cord. Uh, when you go to do this side, take your, it's easier to either take the reel off or actually, it's easier just to take your dill off here, your tree off. Take those four screws out. You'll have the same wires poking out. Do the same thing again. You've got a, you've got a weather grommet back here, just like you had on the front. If you have any questions, give me a holler. I'm here for you. We'll walk through this together. All right. As always, spade new to your pets. Catch you on the next one. Um, not sure which one it'll be, but we'll do it again. Again, any comments, questions, blah, 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 blah. Leave me some, uh, leave me a question and I'll see if I can't get them answered for you. Later. See you later. See you later. <laughs>